am I? Why am I here? When I'm done rolling up this booger, should I eat it or throw it out the window? Feels good. you wish for. Can you start doing it? Every time you said somebody else good morning, you really intend. I wish you a most glorious good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Outside your coffee was this bunch of diffidels and doozes. Pinned to them is a knit. <laughs> Pardon me if I love you, but I have my dirty to do. Good morning. Uh, good evening, officer. Uh, how comforting to know that you are doing your duty. Do not waste your torch. It is a dick night. Very likely, yes. I thought I saw two men leaking by your dustbin. <laughs> well, that is France for you. And I thank you for all of you who are sharing these little, let's call it words of kindness on the Facebook, on other social medias, when they, people exchanging kindness of their hearts and intent for others you'll feel soon you'll actually see it soon what energetically this means how powerful these little things are how powerful is little like on uh, somebody's uh, picture poem comment it means universe to this person but actually goes back to you so you receive universe back so i thank you thank you all whoever commented liked it anything what others are posting because this is the way of making a connection but not with this person. Well, yes, in the sense, but with yourself. You're making a connection with yourself when you're sharing your kind thoughts with others. <clears throat> okay, so they're telling me to increase my voice. <coughs> Thank you, dude. Thank you. I want to thank a very special person, the absolute bravery that she did with a decree that she posted, amazing and revealing and so powerful that it gives me shivers. I was reading it and later when every time I think about it is how powerful it can be one single post but it came right from the heart so I really thank you I thank you well good luck with that I'm gonna go now okay with the boss be right out You must be Bruce. I've been expecting you. 
This is hilarious. So you're the boss and the electrician and the janitor. Must be a killer Christmas party. Don't get drunk, though. One of you might need a ride home. <laughs> <laughs> you always were funny, Bruce. Just like your father. He didn't mind rolling up his sleeves, either, son. People underestimate the benefit of good old manual labor. It's freedom in it. Some of the happiest people in the world go home smelling to high heaven at the end of the day. All right, what is this? How do you know my father, and how do you get my pager number? Oh, I know quite a lot about you, Bruce. Just about everything there is to me. Everything you've ever said, or done, or thought about doing. Right there in that file cabinet. Wow, a whole drawer just for me. Yeah. Mind if I take a look? It's your life. Sound of you good. And this is very related with the subject today. With the title, it has like a couple of titles, so anyway, <laughs> we'll, st we'll stick with a short one. It's under the healing class and uh, the title is The Power of Intent. In life is very easy to lose a track who is a real creator in this where we are. We always think somebody else has to create a bread, has to create a place where we're going to live. Well, maybe we have to create some money so we'll buy something else. But this is not the real picture. This is just superficial. Well, this is the word I'm missing, like I'm looking in a... In Croatian it's Povarshinska. I have no idea. And then, uh, in English. So anyway, it's something that is on the surface. That's where we're staying a lot. So it's very easy to create these kind of, let's call it mask, that it's very simple to put you in doubt and put you in a competition mode. It puts you in fears. We don't think them as intense from environment, from your colleagues, from your parents, from your partner, but they have intent to put you in a certain less comfortable position. Just by noticing you are actually having enough strength to get out of this. When you're noticing that you've been heavily programmed, that you've been heavily abused, because people, children, are born into abusive environment, and they continue, and they're thinking this is very, very normal. So we cannot really blame this child when he grows up, and it behaves absolutely the same as it was done towards them. For them, this is the way of life. Until the point comes where people like I am and many others, that we can show them there is a better way of living. Because being abusive to others, it's actually hurt the one who is abuser. Energetically, they feel it. They become very ignorant. They become very, uh, let's call it dull or, or almost like anesthetized. They don't react as a, a normal, heartful uh, person. So when we start thinking about them as somebody who doesn't know the real truth, and we see them as a sick individuals, then what else we can do but to help them? What else? Otherwise, 
if we start blaming them, then we end up in a very similar position as they are, these ill people. Because there we are blamers, we are accusers, we are abusers, and so on. Now this last entry was a little disturbing. Gloves are off, God. God has taken my bird and my bush. God is a mean kid with a magnifying glass. Smite me, almighty oh smite. Let's go back to intent. So, all these programming techniques that are around the world, right? Our world right now are based on this to create a certain level of intent in our energy. So, when you see a war on the TV or a news uh, article about the Third World War is starting, what is their intent? The one who's writing the news? The one who's uh, actually pushing for these kind of news to be on the news or in the newspaper is to create a certain level of this discomfort inside of you okay so when you get this you will be easily almost cured from these kind of very weak attacks these are very weak attacks they are I mean, transparent once when you figure them out they're not Until the okay. race. They're very strong and damaging for your health until you figure out what they are doing to you. And how easily you can actually get rid of them. As soon as you notice them, they become completely weak. They are like they have no power in them. Okay? So by knowing how you've been led into the you know bar or into the field or into the slaughter you become free then you don't have to actually follow the other sheeps and other cows into the slaughterhouse Because the only creative force on this planet is you, is a human being. And we have to grasp that nobody else can create for us something that we don't want. So you are the center of the creative universe. If your intention goes into fear of the Third World War, fear of the venereal diseases, it doesn't matter. Fear of, you know, your child will get hurt if she goes somewhere alone. You are a creative force of these very negative energies. Who are you? I'm the one. Huh? Creator of the heavens and the earth. Alpha and Omega. Oh, I see where this is going. Bruce, I'm God. Bingo! Yahtzee! Is that your final answer? Our survey says God! Bing, 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 bing. Well, it was nice to meet you, God. Thank you for the Grand Canyon. And good luck with the apocalypse. Oh, and by the way, you suck! You're a creative force of these very negative energies. They are actually not only stuck on your energetic field, but they are going into collective energetic field. And as much as this collective is unconscious, let's say, 
these collective karma is becoming bigger and bigger and it's built through the centuries so I talked about trauma before don't take it too seriously honestly it's the only way to actually see any trauma in your life as an opportunity to learn something more just like this and this is the way how we're jumping out of uh, this abuser abuse uh, victim and abuser uh, relationship this is how we acting we always acting one or the other are we abuser or we are with are we collective victim let's say a nation against a nation one is abuser one is the victim but they're both creating a very negative energy streams very negative so once when you realize this the one who's let's say getting more open to this uh, intent business they can just say I'm intending to have a peace with my neighbor and the neighbor comes again to them oh you did this to me you took this part of the land I'm intending to have a peace with you my friend let's talk oh you did this I'll put uh, my nuclear guns here you'll put you put your I'm intending to have a peace with you no matter what let me hug you and then you see Putin you see Obama you see whoever Syrian president and so they are all hugging together and this is what they're doing right now in Paris for two weeks they will be hugging each other energies until they smooth out all the differences and they'll make a collective intent for release of Swiss Sindo for release of abundance for all for re-evaluation of the starting with the Iraqi dinar and uh, the rest of the currencies yen uh, and so on I mean it's already on the physical it's already happened it's already in financial let's call it a, a construct but it's not publicly fully announced and this is what they're going to do in the next couple of days starting today and again this is created by intent like anything else wars are created by intent you cannot just make 70 million Germans go to attack the old Europe just because they are suddenly you know realized oh we're better no it was built through you know years of call it programming until millions of Germans decided they're much better and they will listen to this dude who's you know ego driven and uh, he knows only what he knows again no blame to to Hitler in any way or the whatever team was around him in the world we cannot blame these whatever you call them cabal illuminati uh, we are individually responsible for every war that is happening for every terrorist attack that it was 
publicized on the uh, TV and nobody said, please stop doing these things. Please stop brainwashing the rest of the people. You cannot brainwash me, but I want you to stop for the others. This is what I'm doing for years now. Every time I have a chance, I know media is one of the worst tools. I mean, one of the best tools. At the same time, one of the worst tools to influence millions of people who are going to put their intent into something very, very detrimental for their own health. So, I'm implying one more time. Media do Please. Watch this very carefully. Your actions are very intentional. So please make them healthy for everybody. Do you understand? Make them healthy for everybody. Reporting lies. It's absolute no-no as of today. So you just watch. This is not a warning. And this is not premature blame to anybody of you. Because I don't blame you. I'm just giving you a directive. You, as of today, stop reporting lies. Be careful what you wish for, punk. No! Uh-uh! Nope! Nope! I am a reasonable, sane human being. The 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world. I'm not Clint Eastwood. I'm Bruce Nolan. Bruce Nolan. I'm Bruce No! Lynn! Start thinking about these people that you are reporting. To your listeners, your people that are watching the TV all day long, hoping they will hear some good news. Give them good news. Fine, dig it out. The smallest good news that you can find and post this on the TV. If you don't have uh, inspiration, look on my side, look on any other side. There's so many good sites that you can find a beautiful news. I'm telling you, have bravery to do the Swiss Indo. And you'll see how your intent will make a huge difference because finally you start doing a good thing for others not just a good thing for your pocket because you've been paid reporting lies i mean for how long how many centuries you you're thinking you can do this you don't have even a day to do this anymore so it's not a warning it's a decree you are done with reporting lies See what your article or what your TV show producing in people. Does it producing fear? Does it producing lack or fear of lack? Does it producing fear of do we vaccinate? Do we not? Or we have to do this? We or it's producing intent to have peace. Don't twist when Papa says we will, let's say, uh, we will not do the Christmas this year because the world is completely oblivious to sufferings of many others. And this is not any, anything close to Christian beliefs or behavior. But people turn the Christmas into shopping sprees, into 
you know, competition, which company will sell more of the crap. So start untwisting what you really make a knots on your bodies, incredible knots. So untwist them, please, please. Feel about your postings, about your uh, TV shows, that they create intent for peace, intent for equality, intent for abundance, for all, do you understand? For all, including you. And this is my intent for you. With this, my blurs, I'm giving an intent that you will receive energetic abundance as you deserve it. But the way how most of the people behave and they still don't want to based on their comfort uh, to be comfortable in their living or in their houses in their cars they don't want to change anything they still want to abuse others energetically but no more my friends no more so i'm just telling you you have the most powerful tool in your hand intent but if it's ignorant intent excuse me I need a it's okay I found one the most powerful tool in your hands given to you by God is intent People call it free will, people call it whatever. It is what you intending to have. Use it wisely. There's a nice expression. Play is a serious work. For the children how to teach adults to be playful because we absolutely as adults took it very seriously let's start playing by start playing our intent will be much more bubbly much more you know, nicer for environment it'll be, on the end, very nice for ourselves. So let's start playing. Thank you. There we are. It's good. It's good. <laughs> it's a wonderful thing. No matter how filthy something gets, you can always clean it right up. There were so many. I just gave them all what they wanted. Yeah. But since when does anyone have a clue about what they want? So what do? Parting your soup is not a miracle, Bruce. It's a magic trick. A single mom who's working two jobs and still finds time to take her kid to soccer practice, that's a miracle. A teenager who says no to drugs and yes to an education, that's a miracle. People want me to do everything for them, and what they don't realize is they have the power. You want to see a miracle, son? Be the miracle. Can I ever repay you? Well, the reward would be good. There is some damage to my car. It's a high-performance machine, so I had to fill it with premium. If it be your will That I speak no more And my voice be still I 
as it was before I will speak no more I shall abide until I am spoken for If it be your will If it be your will Let a voice be true From this broken hill I will sing to you From this broken hill 